Welcome to Comics on the Pyre, where everyone can come and indulge in all things comic related, whether it be movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, or just comics themselves. If you love comic books, then show it by hitting that subscribe button to help this precious media that we all love thrive and flourish. <laughs> On this beautiful sunny afternoon, on one lone hilltop sits a steepled church. Within a father and a daughter debate over the meaning of faith and the will of God. It is also a discussion about the vibrant spiritness of youth versus the cautionary wisdom of maturity. Hannah has been raised her whole life under the loving hand of God hearing about the power of his glory, the love and eternal forgiveness he gives. Her father, a devout man of God, should know. He raised her, instilling those values in her. In fact, it has been his own sermons that both conflict and make him proud of his daughter's actions now. Hannah wants to join the army and serve her country, to fight wars in foreign lands that are being plagued by horrible dictators, despots, and oppressive regimes. Her father, a man of the cloth, just doesn't believe deploying soldiers, tanks, and warplanes has ever brought peace to a volatile situation. But it is her decision. He raised her to be a good person, a God-fearing person, independent with her own thoughts and actions. She believes that though she enters the valley of death, God will be with her. His rod and staff will protect her. Her faith in the Lord will shield her from both evil and harm. For the Lord protects his flocks. Two months later, that was then. This is now. Hannah stirred from her sleep and wakes to the realization of the dire circumstances that she is in. A nighttime deployment extracting somewhere over the Caucasus Mountain, a mountain range that stretches miles between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, has gone totally boobard. It was supposed to be a simple snatch and grab job. SOCOM sent down the orders from on high at the last minute. The assignment were two Apache choppers to sneak over enemy lines, land at the designated LZ, and extract U.S. Rangers who were there on Black Op missions. All was going well when out of nowhere an AA released a volley of surface to air, effectively shooting down both choppers. With Hannah's group burnt in the crash, the remaining party is now stranded in the mountain with little to no food and a dysfunctional navigational equipment. They must now figure out a way to get back home, blindfolded. But the odds are up against them. If they are to survive, they must endure the mountain's extreme temperatures, the voracious wildlife, enemy combatants, and something, something way more evil and insidious. The mountain range that they are about to embark into goes on for miles. A lot of it has not been treaded upon the foot of man for ages. What the team finds within will test their camaraderie with each other and their own individual sanity as not all threats can be taken down with a bullet. Welcome, my friends, for another episode of Comics on the Pyre. Today, I will be going over the trade paperback title, The Whisper in Dark, published by Dark Horse Comics. This graphic novel may not be for everyone, as I found it to be a slow burn. The story doesn't give you many answers to exactly what's going on until the very end. You are not sure what you are viewing is it real or just a figment of your character's imagination. In fact, at the time of me writing this review slash overview, I am still not totally sure what I read was supposed to be taken literally or just figuratively. I will say this, the comic kept me hooked to the very end to find out just exactly what was happening. What I got was a good story about the psychological effects of war and the limits of faith. The themes explored in this graphic novel are both real and disturbing, but all of us have experienced them in some point of our lives, in some way, in one form or another. The question of what is good or evil, does good exist? And if it does, 
Why is there so, so much horrific things done in this world? One main theme I took away from this read is that we often become what we hate or fear the most in this world. In trying to avoid our greatest fears, we sometimes become what we dread it the most. It's like what we focus on we become, whether intentional or not. One more thing. I got this sick feeling deep down in my stomach by the end of the story. And I will say this, it is a spoiler, so end this video now and read the comic for yourself if I can cue your interest. But I got this feeling that Hannah was a sociopath at the beginning of the story. And the real reason why she joined the army was not to help people, but to actually kill them and not suffer any of the repercussions of law of man or God. In the military, she could say to murder was just her orders. Or she could say she had to kill those people because it was in self-defense. Murder was something she had to do to survive leaving her with a clear conscience. Maybe Hannah was innately born a murderer like Dexter, but her family brought her up to believe in peace, mercy, and God's righteousness. This would leave her conflicted with her own innate feelings and how she was brought up. Either way, I give the story a 4.0 out of 5, a great read ranking, and suggest people pick up this novel to read and share on this page what they took away from the story. Until then, Please visit my comic YouTube channel, Comics on the Pyre, for other videos like this one. Comment below any comic book story arcs you feel deserve the limelight. Tap on that bell icon on your way out. And oh yes, as always, until next time, keep reading my friends.